Hi, I'm Dwayne Seaver with Real Milk Paint, founder and creator of, of Real Milk Paint. Today, we're going to talk about painting rust over rusty surfaces with Real Milk Paint. Um, it's, this is a great surface for Real Milk Paint to go on. Real Milk Paint loves a porous surface, and rust is that perfect porous surface. So we're going to go through just a little bit of prep on what you would, what you would want to do with your rusty, rusty object. In this case, we have a milk can or a milk stool old milk stool that I got it here at a local flea market. And what you want to do is you just want to quickly go over and just remove any scale, really heavy scale that's on your piece. So I'm just going to do that real quickly here. I mean, you could paint over the heavy scale, but it's likely to just kind of come slough off again when you touch it. And this is actually pretty crusty, with heavy scale. So we're using a, a cheap, inexpensive Scotch-Brite pad. Um, I love, I love using these things. They're kind of like a light sanding, light sandpaper. And you can see all the dust and, and dirt flying off of this. And we put down a little newspaper so we can so we can clean this up real quick. You see the dust flying. Pretty dirty there. Feel around the surface, make sure it feels kind of smooth, and you're not feeling the, uh, you know, a, a heavy rusty scale. And when you get to that point, you know, which I think we pretty much are with this little spool, you know, I like it, I like the way it feels. Now we're just going to get rid of this, all this dirt here for a second. Hold this up. All that scaly rust that came off of there, and we're good to go. So. This is still, I mean, it's got a little dust on there, but that doesn't matter a whole lot. The milk paint will just stick right to that. And for our milk stool, we're going to use soft white. I think that's appropriate for a milk stool is white. So if you need to know how to mix your paint, you can go to Real Milk Paint, How to Shake Your Can, and you can learn about mixing paint. In this case, we've already got the paint ready to go. So pop open the lid. You can see how creamy and and great that paint looks in there, you know, how smooth it is. Um, the other thing you need is a good quality brush. These are our oval uh, one and a half inch um, brushes. Fantastic quality brush, it's a lifetime brush. It really lays out the paint fabulous. So, no other surface prep is really needed for rust. Um, no primer, anything else, no paint, just, just really sticks great to, to, uh, to rusty surfaces. And yet, it's still going to show the, um, the rusty texture of, of, of your object. So that's the one thing I really like about milk paint, is that it's a really kind of thin paint. doesn't get real thick and heavy looking, so you still are able to see all your details, and um, as, as opposed to something that looks thick and plasticky, like some of the other paints that are out there on the market today. Um, and it's 100% natural and biodegradable. So. You can see how well that's covering. We got one coat. I attribute a lot of that great coverage to a good quality brush. If you don't have a good quality brush, you know, and you're using cheap natural bristle brushes, um, yeah, they'll work. They'll give you a brushy surface. But these, these oval brushes, you know, if you can see them, they're just kind of a real shallow oval, and they just really hold a lot of paint with their natural bristles that are in there. So if you're going to do a lot of painting, it's uh, definitely worth um, getting a good brush. It'll make the job, the painting job, go so much faster, so much easier, make the experience so much nicer. So can't say enough about 
about quality tools, quality brush, good quality paint. This is not. This will not flake off of this surface. This is this is a really clean, rusty metal. So I mean, it's just all just rust. Now, if you had something that was oily, um, milk paint sticks pretty good to oily stuff. But if you really want to make sure you got a hundred percent stick, then you really probably want to uh, um, uh, degrease your, your your project. You know, get rid of all that oil. And you can do that with uh, TSP or a good soap and water, like ivory dish soap. See, I'm just up there. There's no fake video footage here. This is this is just me painting, and this is one coat. You can see how well that's going on there. I'm just going to clean up some of the insides here a little bit. Make sure I get inside the legs. place I didn't get was inside and underneath the top so I can leave that now when this is dry it's gonna it's gonna be a really flat matte surface you can wax it if you want you can use burning paste over it or you can just leave it the way it is and uh, enjoy putting this on your tabletop with a, a bowl of fruit or something on top and that would be really nice um, there's another other if you're looking for other tin projects you know this is some painted tin this would be really porous too, or porous enough because it's a flat surface, and this would this would work great for milk paint as well. And um, so, stop by realmilkpaint.com, get your brushes and paint for all your rusty projects. Thanks for thanks for visiting and stopping by.